So fluids, we've done two videos. This is the third and last one. The first video was on the guy, why things float, that would be Archimedes. The second guy, small force, small area, big force, big area. And we spent a lot of time talking about pressure and pressure is equal to two things and those two things would be F over A and Rho GH. Rho GH, agreed? Rho G H and F over A units of pass uh, units of pressure are Pascal. Pascal's in the MKS system. Agreed. So Bernoulli, why things fly, but that also includes moving fluids, right? And of the three, he is the only one who deals with moving fluids. Pascal and Archimedes are static, static or not moving fluids. Agreed. Yes, sir. Uh, so Bernoulli uh, is uh, moving fluids, why things fly, and we've always started these with water pipes, and the, but they could just as easily be air pipes, the fluid uh, through a pipe could be either a liquid or a, um, a gas. Um, and what are the two critical equations for Bernoulli? Let's start with the basics, J equals A1, B1. Low. Equals A2, V2, equals A3, V2, you know, that could go on and on because it's a constant, yes? Okay. And J is the symbol for Low. flow. Low. And the units of J are? Oh, kilogram. No. no. The units of J are? Well, it's got to be meters squared times meters per second, which are? Meters, meters cubed per second. second, which is what over what? Volume over, volume over time. Distance? Time. Volume, volume over time. time. Volume over time. She's nervous because the camera's here. Is that it? <laughs> so J is equal to A1V1 is equal to a constant. Okay? And it's also equal to volume over time. So these are the type of problems where we're filling a pool in a certain amount of time. That will give you... We're filling a pool in a certain amount of time. That would give you the flow through the pipe. And once we have that flow, we can find either the areas or the velocities of the two pipes. Yeah. Agreed? Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's do a problem. So, uh, I'm going to put the narrow pipe over here, big pipe over here. Narrow pipe is called the throat, throat or the Neck. faucet. Faucet or the throat. This is the main pipe. Inner ID stands for inner, inner diameter. Inner diameter. Inner, inner diameter eight centimeters. Inner diameter over here two centimeters. Make sense? Yep. Water comes out of the throat and fills a pool three hundred and fifty meters cubed in uh, twenty minutes. Make sense? What can, we, what can we solve based on this? What can we solve based on this? Flow. We can find flow, obviously, just looking at the pool. Pressure. Can't find pressure yet. We can find V in the throat and V in the main. All right, so first we're going to get the flow. J is equal to AV, but it's also equal to volume over time. Which one are we going to use? Volume over time. Volume over time. Someone get a calculator. Just one of those Davidson ad hoc things. So I'm thinking 350 over 20 times 60. 20 times 60. We don't like minutes. 1,200. That gives us a flow of? 0 0.29. 0 0.29. What are the units? Meters, Meters cubed cube per cube. second. Agreed? Okay, so now we got the flow. Now we can find the velocity in the throat and velocity in the main. Agreed? Yes. By doing what? J equals? A1V1. 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 So I'm thinking 0 0.29 equals? These are perfect circles. Pi. 0.1 times. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.01. 0.
Yeah. A little unreasonable. Meters per second? Yes. Good. What's the velocity in the main? 0 0.29 equals? Uh, 0.04 squared pi times velocity. 0.029 equals 0.04 squared pi velocity. Velocity in the main looks like it's going to be faster or slower? Slower. Slower. It's got to be less than uh, an unreasonable 923. 57.7. Yeah. 57. I'm going to say 57 meters per second. We're good with that? Yes. yes. Makes sense? Yes. Yeah. As the velo and the big principle in Bernoulli, when the velocity is high, the pressure is? Low. 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 Agreed? They're directly or indirectly related? Indirectly. indirectly. So I'm going to put a U-shaped uh, pipe U-tube on the bottom of this, and what are we going to call that? Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, Pascal. Whose pipe? Uh, Venturi pipe. Venturi oh, pipe, oh, Jacob. Yeah, yeah. That's a metal. Come <laughs> to my honors class, someone asked me today, what's the area of the Venturi type, uh, pipe? Is that a smart question? No. <coughs> we don't care, right? Stop making fun of honors students. <laughs> okay, we don't care. That could be as fat or as thin as it wants to be, right? Now I fill this with, uh, this is fresh water, I fill this with mercury. All right. When there's no water going through the main and the throat pipe, what's that mercury going to do? Level. It's going to level off, because as we know, fluids flow yeah. to a consistent level. Right? You fill your bathtub, it comes up with one level. It's not like filling it with dirt. Okay. Now we turn the pipe on. Am I shifting clock or counterclockwise? Uh, Am I rising in the throat or descending in the throat? You're descending, you're descending in the throat, right? No. You're going back. What do you think? Where's the higher pressure? The higher pressure is the main. Higher pressure here, so therefore it's pushing yeah. down, yeah. so it's rising into the throat. The throat. Yeah. Now you can memorize that, that would be but you really should know that where's the high pressure, and the high pressure is pushing it down. Yeah. All right. So when we turn this thing on, uh, this level is coming up here, and this level is coming down there. Do we agree? Yeah. Yes. So. For those of you who memorize, and that is not the interesting way to learn physics, the, the, the fluid in a venturi pipe always favors the, the throat or the main. Yeah. Throat. The throat. throat. Because and people who know why, people who know how will always work for people who know why. Why does it do that? Because the pressure here is very high, high because the velocity is very low. So, Right? Yeah. Low pressure is going to relieve it and bring it up. Agreed? Yeah. So now, if I tell you that the distance from here to here is 20 centimeters, and I got oil in here with a density of 850 kilograms per meter cubed, what can you solve for? The difference in the height. You can find for the diff, you can solve for the, Zach? The, the height, like the, the level that it rose. I already gave you that, 20 centimeters. Um, you uh, could okay. solve for pressure. The, the difference in pressure. pressure. And what is the change in pressure between throat and main? Rho GH. GH. Doesn't that make sense? Yeah. It's got to be the point 0.1, point 0.2. The change in pressure between points 1 and 2 has got to be equal to the column of fluid that's being supported by that change in pressure. Doesn't that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So delta P, 1 to 2, equals rho GH. Give me three numbers. 850, 9.8 earth sea level, 0 0.2. 850, 9.8, 0.2. 1,000. 666. 666. What are the units? Pascals. Pascals. Now that, that, does that tell you what the pressure is at 1 and what the pressure is at 2? No. It, it just tells you to change, right? Yes. Okay. And the, the AP test is full of this stuff, you know. They'll say, what, what's the fraction of A to B? Do you need to know what A and B is? No. You just need to know the fraction. It could be 2 to 4, it could be 4 to 8, it could be 100 to 200. You don't care. All you need is a relationship. Same thing here. Some people say, well, what's the delta P? Well, I got to know P1 and I got to know P2. Do you need to know P1 and P2? No. Absolutely not. 
You just got to solve for delta p. That's a big difference. And we see a lot of this in pressure and in and heat, too. You see it in heat. Are we good at this?